Chapter 1, England's Beauty Every year, about 25 million people from around the globe come to visit England. Many of them head straight to London, a fantastic city that captivates visitors. However, there's so much more to explore beyond London places that hold the stories of England and its people. Picture this, lush green hills, charming villages, expansive beaches, historic churches, and delightful English gardens. But that's not all. England also boasts vibrant cities offering delicious food, unique shops, and lively music scenes. Imagine watching a Shakespeare play or enjoying music around the clock with fellow enthusiasts. You could attend a thrilling cricket or football match, cruise down a scenic river, or wander through the halls of an ancient castle. Indeed, England is a breathtaking country with diverse attractions. Yet, it begs the question, who exactly are the English? The journey to discover the heart of England has just begun. Chapter 2 Who are the English? A long time ago, England got its name Angleland when folks from Europe, the Angle and Saxon people, arrived around the 5th and 6th centuries. They liked it so much, they called it their land. Before them, Romans hung out here for about 400 years, making cool stuff like houses and roads. They set up a town by the River Thames and called it Londinium, now known as London. The Angles and Saxons sailed over from northwest Germany and southern Denmark. Then came the Vikings from Denmark and Norway. Fast forward to 1066, a new king, William the Conqueror from Normandy, shook things up, bringing a bunch of French pals with him. Jump to the 19th each century, where lots of Irish and Jewish families joined the English party. The 20th century was like a constant party too. After World War II, folks from the West Indies, Africa, and Asia showed up. In the ATS, people from Vietnam came, looking to escape their war-torn home. Nowadays, almost 50 million people call England home. Thousands more drop in every year from places like Eastern Europe, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iraq, Australia, Canada, and India. They're here for various reasons some for work some to be with family, and others just chasing a better life. And guess what? They bring their awesome theatre, yummy food, cool music, and amazing art with them. England's like a global hangout. Want to know what England really is? Come check it out for yourself. Chapter 3 Exploring the major cities. In London, more than 11 million people come each year to explore famous spots like the Tower of London, St. Paul's Cathedral, Westminster Abbey, and the Houses of Parliament. Buckingham Palace, the Queen's London home, is a must see. When she's around, you can spot her flag, the Royal Standard at the front. Visitors love taking photos and touring some rooms in August and September. London is buzzing with museums, art galleries, theatres, and clubs. Birmingham, England's second largest city after London, has come a long way from its 25-person population in 1086. Once known as the workplace of the world, it's now a hub for music, art, and shopping. 
Don't miss the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra at Symphony Hall or the Rock Vibes at the Birmingham Academy. Explore history at the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery, the Think Tank Museum, and visit Shopping Heaven at the Boring with over 160 shops. For tasty yet affordable bites, head to the Chinese Quarter near New Street Station. Liverpool, standing by the River Mersey, is famous for the Beatles and the Grand National Horse Race. Albert Dock offers a mix of shops, restaurants, bars, museums, and art galleries. Liverpool's history includes the departure of 9 million people to America, Australia, Canada, or New Zealand between 1830 and 1930. Take tours by bus, boat, or on foot to explore this vibrant city. Experience the arts at the Liverpool Empire or the Philharmonic Hall, and don't miss the iconic Cavern Club on Matthew Street. Liverpool Cathedral, Tate Liverpool and the Merseyside Maritime Museum add to the city's rich cultural tapestry. Manchester, known for Manchester United and the Trafford Centre, Europe's biggest shopping mall, is a bustling city. Explore small shops and pubs in the Northern Quarter, or dive into history at the People's History Museum. The Lowry at Salford Keys showcases L. S. Lowry's paintings, capturing life in the city. Enjoy plays at the Royal Exchange Theatre or laughter at the Comedy Store in Dean's Gate Locks. Manchester offers a blend of sports, shopping, history, and entertainment, making it a must-visit destination. Chapter 4 more cities of England. Embark on an adventure in any direction, and you'll discover captivating cities. Travel to Newcastle upon Tyne on the northeast coast for a delightful experience. Explore the city's gems by hopping on a tour bus or strolling through its streets. Head to the lively quayside, nestled by the river offering a plethora of cafes, bars, and restaurants. The River Tyne boasts seven bridges, including the modern Gateshead Millennium Bridge, which gracefully opens and closes like an eye when large boats pass through. Take a leisurely walk across the bridge to Gateshead Quays for more exploration. For a cultural treat, Visit the Theatre Royal on Grey Street, celebrated as one of England's most beautiful theatres. If laughter is your preference, the Hyena Cafe in Lees's Lane is a perfect spot, open on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings. In 1998, the iconic Angel of the North made its presence felt on a hill seven kilometres from Newcastle. Standing at 20 metres tall and 54 metres across, it's a subject of varied opinions, but almost every visitor to the north of England catches a glimpse. Easily accessible by bus from the city centre, this landmark is a must-see on your northern journey. Explore the enchanting city of York, situated south of Newcastle, boasting historic buildings, castles, and museums. York Minster, a magnificent cathedral with stunning windows, is a must-visit. Enjoy scenic walks along the river, through Roman York, and along the old city walls. Discover the liberty of St. Peter, a city within York. Oxford and Cambridge, England's renowned university cities, are characterised by rivers Oxford with the Isis and Cambridge with the Cam. Tour the cities by bus or on foot, or experience a punt ride along the river. Oxford, located near the centre of England, 
houses the excellent Ashmolean Museum and a picturesque bridge of size reminiscent of its Venetian counterpart. Rest your feet at the Oxford Story in Broad Street, offering a train journey through the city's history. Explore the university's 39 colleges during designated visiting times. Cambridge, in the east of England, boasts 31 colleges in the city centre. King's College, known for its beauty, features singers renowned worldwide. Relax in the parks and college gardens called The Backs, where you can walk, read, or watch punts on the river. Nestled amidst green hills in the southwest, Bath is famed for the Royal Crescent and Roman-built baths. In the 19th -age century, it drew rich visitors seeking music, conversation, and potential partners. Visit the Roman Baths and the Assembly Rooms, housing the Museum of Costume from the 16th century to today. Enjoy tea at the Pump Rooms or a serene moment in the beautiful Parade Gardens. While exploring English towns and cities, transportation options like buses and taxis are available, and London and Newcastle offer underground trains. However, the best way to truly experience the charm is by walking plus, it's a cost-free adventure. Wander through the streets, absorb the local atmosphere, and uncover hidden gems on foot. Chapter 5, Coastal Wonders and Countryside Charm In England, the sea is never too far away and you're always close to some of the world's most beautiful countryside. Despite the common saying that it always rains in England, the rain contributes to the lush greenery of the countryside. The Lake District National Park, situated in Cumbria in the northwest, boasts the highest hills in England and 16 magnificent lakes. Some, like Buttermere and Worstwater, offer tranquility, while others, like Windermere and Derwent Water, feature bustling towns and boats. The Lake District is perfect for scenic walks, but weather conditions can change rapidly. Northumbria, in the northeast, offers extensive and lovely beaches, ideal for walks, bird watching and providing stunning views of Northumbria's castles. Notably, Annick Castle served as Hogwarts school in the Harry Potter films. Yorkshire hosts two remarkable national parks. In the northwest, the Yorkshire Dales National Park showcases vast hills and dales with charming villages and castles. In the northeast, the North York Moors National Park offers picturesque countryside, with options like riding the North Yorkshire Moors Railway or driving to coastal gems like Whitby or Robin Hood's Bay. Dorset invites you to explore breathtaking walks along the southwest coast, featuring the impressive Sheasel Bank Beach and historic Corfe Castle. The New Forest in Hampshire attracts over 6 million visitors annually, with its New Forest ponies being a major draw. Whether observing the ponies, walking in the forest, or exploring towns like Lyndhurst and Lymington, there's much to enjoy. Dartmoor National Park in the southwest is known for its ponies and is a great place for extensive walks. Cornwall, in the far southwest, offers fantastic surfing beaches and coastal walks, attracting those who love swimming, surfing, and exploring the beautiful beaches around Newquay on the north coast. Chapter 6 Evening Adventures London's West End is renowned for its more than 50 theatres, but tickets can be pricey. Opt for afternoon shows they are more budget-friendly. 
Most major cities and many large towns across England boast theatres. Sometimes, you can catch plays at these venues before they hit London's West End. The Minac Theatre in Porthcurno, Cornwall, stands out as it's an outdoor theatre. Enjoy plays under the summer sky in this unique setting. England's literary icon, William Shakespeare, hails from Stratford-upon-Avon. Experience his works at the Royal Shakespeare Theatre along the River Avon. Before leaving the town, explore Shakespeare's birthplace and Anne Hathaway's charming home with its lovely garden in the nearby village of Shottery. Major cities host numerous concerts. London, Birmingham, Bournemouth, Manchester, and Liverpool feature world-famous orchestras. St. Martin's in the Fields Church in London's Trafalgar Square offers lunchtime concerts on select days. Cathedrals and churches in many towns and cities also host musical performances. Beyond formal venues, music permeates other spaces like theatres, pubs, town centres, and shopping malls. Cities and large towns often have clubs where you can dance and enjoy live music. Arrive early if tickets are required. The Glastonbury Festival, held in Pilton near Glastonbury in Somerset, stands as England's largest rock music festival, typically occurring on the last weekend in June. Secure your ticket in February to witness some of the country's best bands. Other notable music festivals take place in Leeds, Reading, Guildford, Chelmsford, and the Isle of Wight. Chapter 7 a journey from football to tennis. Football clubs dot the English landscape, with major ones dominating cities like London, Manchester, Liverpool, Newcastle, Sheffield, and Birmingham. London boasts giants like Arsenal, Tottenham Hotspur, Chelsea, Fulham, West Ham United, and Charlton Athletic. However, nearly every town hosts its own football club, and matches unfold on Saturday and Sunday afternoons, as well as some evenings, from August to May. Rugby, a fast and thrilling game, is widespread in towns and cities, with an annual highlight being the Oxford vs Cambridge University's clash at Twickenham, London, in December. Cricket originating in England, draws enthusiasts to village matches on weekend afternoons from April to September. Lord's Cricket Ground in St John's Wood, London, and prestigious cricket clubs in Yorkshire, Lancashire, or Surrey offer excellent cricket experiences. For running enthusiasts, the London Marathon in April and the Great North Run in June are key events. The London Marathon winds through the city's streets from Greenwich to Westminster, while the Great North Run, a 21-kilometre race, attracts 50,000 participants annually, starting in Newcastle and concluding in South Shields. Off the west coast of England, the Isle of Man hosts renowned motorcycle races every year for two weeks at the end of May and the beginning of June. In late June, tennis enthusiasts worldwide tune into the Wimbledon Lawn Tennis Championships in Wimbledon, southwest London, where top players from across the globe showcase their skills. Chapter 8 English Cuisine Kickstart your day with the typical English breakfast eggs, bacon, sausages, tomatoes, mushrooms, and baked beans, accompanied by a generous serving of tea. Most hotels and many cafes offer this hearty breakfast, ensuring you won't need a substantial lunch. 
For a midday meal, English pubs provide a cozy atmosphere for lunch and drinks, offering both hot and cold food at affordable prices. Alternatively, sandwich shops, coffee shops, and eateries in shopping malls offer diverse lunch options. Indulge in the English tradition of afternoon tea, where tea is served with sandwiches and cakes. Numerous hotels, restaurants, and tea shops throughout England embrace this charming tradition. Come evening, explore a variety of dining options. From upscale, Comfortable restaurants featuring global cuisines to budget-friendly pizzerias or classic English fish and chip spots, the choices are diverse. England is also home to many excellent Indian restaurants, offering delicious and affordable meals. As you travel through England, inquire about local specialties. Savor the wonderful apples in Kent or try the renowned cheddar cheese in Somerset, often found in bustling markets across the country. Chapter 9 Fashion and Shopping in England London takes the lead in the fashion scene in England. Back in the 1960s, Mary Quant pioneered the iconic miniskirt, gaining worldwide fame. In the 1970s, Vivienne Westwood's Seditionary's shop in Chelsea's King's Road gave birth to punk fashion. Today, London hosts the globally renowned London Fashion Week in February and September, showcasing designs by Paul Smith, Bruce Oldfield, Catherine Hamnett, and others. Explore fashionable clothing stores on Sloane Street, New Bond Street, and Old Bond Street. Harrods in Knightsbridge, London, stands out as one of England's most famous department stores, offering an extensive range of products. Other major retailers are found in out-of-town shopping malls, cities, and towns nationwide. For clothing, Check out Marks and Spencer, Top Shop, River Island, and Monsoon. Waterstones and Borders cater to book lovers, while HMV and Virgin offer CDS and DVDs. Don't overlook small shops, where you might discover unique and interesting items. Gift shops in museums and galleries also offer distinctive finds. Explore markets in many English towns for affordable treasures, including food, clothing, hats, bags, and books. If you're after budget-friendly options, major supermarkets like Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda, Morrison's, and Waitrose have the cheapest food. For a unique experience, venture into smaller shops, markets, and farm shops. England's shopping scene offers a diverse range, catering to all tastes and preferences. Difficult words in the story. Vibrant. Full of energy and life. England also boasts vibrant cities offering delicious food, unique shops, and lively music scenes. Enthusiasts. People who are passionate or highly interested in something. Imagine watching a Shakespeare play or enjoying music around the clock with fellow enthusiasts. Catering. Providing what is needed or desired. England's shopping scene offers a diverse range, catering to all tastes and preferences. Renowned. Meaning famous or well-known. London, Birmingham, Bournemouth, Manchester, and Liverpool feature world-famous orchestras. Budget. Friendly, 
referring to something that is affordable or economical. For a midday meal, English pubs provide a cozy atmosphere for lunch and drinks, offering both hot and cold food at affordable prices. Hub A central point where activity or industry is concentrated. Birmingham, England's second largest city after London, has come a long way from its 25-person population in 1086. Once known as the workplace of the world, it's now a hub for music, art, and shopping. Tranquility. State of calmness and peacefulness. Some, like Buttermere and Wastwater, offer tranquility. Encompass. To include or contain. The Lake District National Park. Encompasses the highest hills in England and 16 magnificent lakes. Picturesque. Visually charming or attractive. Enjoy scenic walks along the river, through Roman York, and along the old city walls.